Hey guys! I'm Teddyworks and in this Procreate tutorial we will draw a cute token with a geometrical background step by step. Please download free resources in the video description and if you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. I've gone ahead and created a canvas of 2000 by 2500 pixels, 300 dpi. In the first part of the video, we will draw a cute token using basic shapes. Then we will practice applying various textures and patterns and in the end work on the background. Most of the brushes we're gonna use today will be the ones from standard Procreate library and I also added a few of my custom brushes. If you'd like to use them too, you can download them for free along with the color palette in the video description. For more exclusive brush sets and in-depth tutorials, please check out my Patreon page, which is linked below the video as well. With that being said, let's begin drawing. First of all, I will go to the color palette and select color number 2. It will be basic color for the toucan. Then in the brushes, I will select monoline from calligraphy set. In the settings, I went to stabilization and increased the amount of streamline, stabilization and motion filtering. For smooth lines. And the size of the brush is set to 13%. I will draw an oval with a small angle for the body. If we hold on a second, it'll get perfect. And after that we can edit the shape. Once we have it, we need to draw a circle a little upper for the head. And make it smaller. Let me also edit it, so it'll look like this. Now let's connect these two shapes on the sides. I will draw a small arc on the right side and a bigger one on the left, starting from the top of the head. Now we can fill all the shapes one by one. I will start dragging the color. And if you see any white gaps, you may need to adjust the color draw threshold by sliding the pencil to the side. This is how it works. Now let's add the corner at the lower side of the head. It's where we will join the beak. And I think I will adjust it at the bottom this way to determine the place for the tail. So next let's draw the tail. It's better to do on another layer, below the current one. Since I'm going to draw mostly straight lines, it will be more handy to use selection tool. Let's click on this icon near the arrow and select prehand. Then I will just tap 4 times on the canvas. This way. One, two. 3 and 4. Then I will tap one last time to connect the shape. And if you have color fill option turned on, it will be filled right away. Then I will draw an arc at the bottom. If you have difficulties, you can totally go with the brush. I prefer selection. So let's also connect it and the shape will be filled. The tail is ready. Next I want to draw the beak. And for that I will create a new layer, this time above layer 1. In the color palette, let's select color number 4. To draw the upper part of the beak. Let's draw the first arc. That'll start from top of the head. And then another one. Make it go a little inside the head. Then connect them too. With a small arc. Let's try to fill it. And after that create one more layer below. To draw the second part of the beak. I'm using different layers. 
so it will be easier to apply patterns and textures later. We also need to change the color to number 5. Let's continue this arc. It may go a little outside the head. And then it will go all the way till this tip. But we can make it more straight. Let's match it here. Then connect the invisible part. And also fill. After that I will create one more layer. This time above layer 3 to add one more shape. For that I will select third color. And do it this way. Starting from here in the corner. Draw on the edge. And make a shape like this. Let me adjust it a little bit. And then also fill. Later we will add shadows and highlights on it. With the textures. I will just make it less rounded here. Ok, now I think it is better. With the same color and maybe even on the same layer, we can add two more shapes on the sides. So I'm drawing one arc here, inside the bird, for the wing. Then I will match it on the side. So it will cover the edge. Now we can fill it. And draw another shape on the left side. I will start a little higher. And draw it like this to the tail. Also match it on the edge. It can be edited. And then filled. This color is slightly lighter. I will just make tip more tapered. Ok, it is also ready. We can start adding more details. And for that I will create a new layer. Can be located above. Let's grab 6 color and draw a light shape on the head. I will first draw an arc close to the beak. Then a bigger one. Connect it with the neck. Let's also match it here. So maybe we can lower the brush size. And draw it this way. Right on the neck. Let's also fill it. And adjust the edges. I will make it more rounded. And make sure black color is not seen. On the edge I mean. Alright, now we can draw the eye. 
So let's also create one more layer above this one and select orange color number 4. Let's start approximately from the middle of this line, go up from here and a little higher. On top I will try to make it parallel to the head. And then go down. Now let's connect it. And fill. On this area we will place the eye. We can also do it on another layer. That will be located above this one. I will first grab blue color number 7 and draw an oval right here. Let's make it big enough. Then also fill it and pick dark color number 1 to draw the pupil. We can do it on a new layer. But later we will merge them. I will just draw a smaller oval inside this one and place it on the right side. Let me edit it. I will make sure it is inside the shape. And after that drag the color inside. Let's now pick the color from the beak here. I will create a layer under the blue one. And draw another oval. Or oh, actually we can draw an arc like this. Then edit it. We only need to connect it inside and drag the color. To make it look alive we need to add light reflections using white color. So let's pick it from the background. We can merge these three layers, but then create a new one. I will draw a line like this. And then a circle. It will be enough. Now the eye is ready. Let's add the final detail on the tail. Before adding textures. So I'm merging these two layers. Going to the layer with the tail now. And creating another one above it. Let's pick this color. And go to selection. I'm going to add straight lines again, so why not use it? Let's first step on the edge. And then I will make a triangle going up. Then down again. Up. One more time. Then up again. And a few more times. The last one will go like this. I will match it with a corner. And go up again. Let's connect it here. And tap. Now it is filled as well. Now the bird is ready. Let's add the textures quickly. I'd like to start with a beak, so let's go ahead and find one of the layers. For example, layer number 3. It's this one with orange color. I will create a layer above it, apply a clipping mask to it, and set it to soft light right away. In this mode we can use black or white colors to add textures or shading. I will start with black. 
I will select it by double tapping on the disk at the bottom. Now let me go to Vintage set from Procreate and select a brush called Buzz. Its size is set to 66% and I will make a single stroke on the beak to the left side. And it will be enough. Let's merge these two layers and go to the next one, which is number 4. I will also create a new layer above it, clip it, but this time I will set it to multiply. We will try different blending modes today, as they all work different. Here we can simply pick color from the beak, and due to the blending mode, it will get darker. We only need to select a pattern or texture. Let's try this one from Vintage. It comes first. It is set to full size and opacity, and I will just make a stroke inside. If you like, you can try some others. But I like this one. These two layers also can be merged. And after that, let's go to the layer number 5. Here we have these three shapes, with grey color. So let's also create another one above, and clip as well. Let's also start with black color. But I will use another brush. From the same set, I will select Honey Eater. I like the name and the brush. It's very nice. So here the size can be set to 15% and I will make a stroke with low pressure at the lower part of the shape. Let's do the same here on the wings. Very low pressure, in order not to make it very dark. Now we can pick white color, right from the background and make more strokes on the opposite sides. Make sure they are sort of blended. And I think it is nice. Let's also merge them. Now let's see what else we have. I think we can continue with the sixth layer. Make a new one. Clip and set to overlay. I will grab black color and previous brush again. So I will just make a stroke like this. I think we can do the same with the tail on the light part. So I am merging these two and go into the layer number 9 with the shapes. So we can also create another layer, clip it and set to overlay mode. Just apply this pattern. Since we are here, let's finish the tail. So I will merge these two layers. Go to the layer with the dark part of the tail, make another one, then also clip it and set to overlay mode. Let's apply black and white colors with Honey Eater brush. We already have black color selected. We only need to switch to the brush. With the dark color I will make strokes on top. Try not to press too much. And then with white color, I will make another stroke at the bottom. We'll get something like this. Now let's finish working on the body. We can definitely merge these two layers. And go to the layer number 1, 
Then I'll create a new layer above it, clip it, and set it to overlay. Before adding honey eater texture, let's add one more. I will be using white color. And from textures, I will select grunge. I've set the size to 24%. And with low pressure, I will make a few strokes inside to get a subtle texture. Now let's switch to Honey Eater. It's here in Vintage. I will apply it here, around the light shape. And then with black color, make a few strokes at the bottom. To make it dark. I think these two textures combine very well together. And we only need to add some shading on the orange part around the eye. So let's go here, create a layer above it, also clip it, and set to overlay. Let's try to add grunge texture. But with low size. I will make a stroke here. Maybe we can try to change it to soft light. Ok. Now it's not so red. Let's merge these two layers. And also these two. For the body. Before we start working on the background, I'd like to make some color adjustments. Since we are on this layer, let me go to Adjustments and select Color Balance. I will try to add some blue. Ok. Let's do the same on the tail. And on the layer number 5. I think this way our bird will combine with the background better. But if you want to make one color background, you could keep it in gray tones. Ok. Now we can totally go ahead and merge all the layers for the bird. Then create a layer below. Let's draw a tree branch. In the color palette I will select 8 color and monoline from calligraphy set. Let's first draw a horizontal line. Then another one parallel to it. From here it will go to the left side and in rounded corner on top and at the bottom. Now let's add a few more branches. For example one can go this way, then to the opposite side. Let's connect them here. And add a few more. I think here we could use selection. But brush is working as well. Let me draw a few more. And once we have the shape, we can fill the color. 
Let's add some shading quickly. So let's open the layer, create another one above it, and also clip to keep the texture inside. I think with the same color we can set the layer mode to overlay. Go to Vintage and select Wedge Tail. Let's set the size to 5% and start making strokes at the bottom. For the shadow. Maybe it's not very well seen but the color is getting dark. For the light color I will select white and apply it on top. We can try to tap at some parts. Let's keep it dark under the bird and go to the right. I will also work on the small branches. And now it is ready. Let's add the remaining background. So we can merge these two layers and before applying colors, let's create the grid. For that I will create a layer above the bird and grab some dark color, for example number one. We can use monoline brush here, but I will make the size low at around 7%. I will draw two vertical lines that may go with an angle. First one and another one. They may cross the objects. Now let's add more horizontal lines. This way we can tap to go it strictly horizontally. Then make another one, one more, it may go under the branch and the last one. We can also divide this square into two parts. Here I will draw a vertical line. Later we will create a pattern here, inside the shapes. Maybe we can draw another horizontal line here, like this. Let's divide this rectangle with a horizontal line first and then a few vertical ones, like this. I think we can create more shapes along the way. So let's now create another layer, but place it under the tree branch. I will also lower the opacity of the outlines. Now let's grab color number 12 from the palette and go to selection. First we can switch to rectangle and outline it on top like this, because we have a horizontal line here. Let's tap color fill and we will get the color. After that I will switch to freehand. Tap in these corners of the outlines and outline two rectangles at the same time. Connecting it. I think enough of this color, let's deselect it and go to change. I will select color number 10 now. Go back to selection and outline these two rectangles. I will be tapping in the corners again. In freehand mode. Now 
let's also connect it and here is the color I think we can also paint this rectangle by tapping let's also connect it and that's it I will grab the next color that will be number 11 let's fill this square and this rectangle at the bottom Okay, enough. Maybe we can add some yellow colors. For example, number 13. I will fill this one. And a small shape here. Now let's change it to number 14, which is slightly different. Actually, we can simply drag the color. Let's see what we have left here. And maybe we can add color number 9. I will drag it in this rectangle. Then in the corner. And since we have left only this space, I will fill it with this color. If we remove the sketch, this is what we will get for now. To make the background even more attractive, let's add even more shapes and patterns. For that I'll create a new layer above this one. Also selection tool will work best, but first I will change the color to number 13. Let's go here and draw an arc inside this rectangle. First I will tap in the corner and then go to the opposite corner, like this. Try to make it smooth. After that we can simply tap and close the shape. Due to color fill, it will be filled. In the same color I will add more small triangles inside this big rectangle. First tap in the corner and then go to the right like this, up and down, until we fill the entire space. A few more. And after that we can tap to connect. I think enough of this color, let's deselect it and go to change. Next I will select color number 10. Go back to selection and this time draw two arcs, reminding a leaf shape. The first one and finish it. Like this. In the next rectangle, I will first tap in the corners and after that draw an arc. In short, we will just create more geometrical shapes and later add patterns. Let's also connect it and see where else we can place this color. For example, here. So I will first tap in this corner. Then this way and after that connect. The last shape will be located here. I will start at this point, go down and then make an arc. Then we need to tap. Once it is done, we can deselect. 
and grab one more color. Let it be number 9. I want to put it here, but I will start on this edge, not in the corner. And go a little up with an arc. After that tap, I think we can also put a rectangle here. And that's it. Next I will select color number 11. And inside this small shape, I will do this. First tap on the line, and after that connect them with an arc. This one is ready. I also want to put it here. Outline it. And then switch to the next one. Which is number 12. With this color I will draw a triangle inside this square. It is very easy by tipping. Then here I will draw an arc. And tap in the corners. The last one will be located here. As a triangle. We can check it now. And I think it is perfect. Let's just finish it by adding more shapes. So I will grab color number 15, which is dark. Let's put it here, but draw an arc in the opposite direction. Let's match it. And here, I will draw a curvy line. To add some diversity. After that I will tap. Deselecting now. And changing the color to number 14. I will put it here. Then tap. And I will also apply it on the small shape. Make it similar to this one. The last shade will be placed here. So let me tap first. And then draw an arc. Let's draw last small shape here, using color number 6. I will draw an arc like this. And tap. Alright. Now it's time to add patterns and textures on these small shapes that we created. Let's do it on a new layer that we need to create above this one. I will be using selection, but this time without color fill option. We only need to tap on the corners of this rectangle to outline it. 
and then go to pick a brush. Here I'd like to use the pattern with triangles. With the size set to 75%, I will make a stroke inside the selection. Let's remove it. And then go to this square. I will also outline it first. By tapping in the corners. Now we can rotate the canvas, change the color to number 15 and make a stroke inside the selection. Now the triangles will look slightly different. Next I'd like to add a pattern on this shape. So let's first isolate it from the triangle. I will tap this way we can outline it again I think we can use the same color but only change the brush to another pattern with lines here I've set the size to 85% and making a stroke here. Let's now add texture here. I will grab color number 9. Outline this part again quickly. And select one of the brushes with cracks. For example, this one. Apply it. And maybe once again. Now I'm changing the color to number 13 to work on this triangle. Let's try another brush with the cracks. I will also make a few strokes to make it more visible. After that deselect. Let's work on this one. And here I will be using color number 12 with another pattern. First we need to outline it again. Now it will be easy. And I will select this pattern with lines. Its size is a 24% here. Let's continue adding patterns. This time inside this triangle. I will tap in the corners. Select 15th color and go to one of Procreate brush sets. It is drawing. From here I will pick a brush called Sticks. Set the size to 72% and make strokes inside. Then we can also use a razor set to the same brush but with lower size. At around 17%. I will just erase a few lines. So it will be more textured. Apply low pressure. Ok. Now I like it. Let's also deselect. And check it out. I think I will stop here. But only add one last touch. Let me create a new layer for that. Pick some yellow color and in the tutorial bundle I will pick fine sandy texture. Let's set the size to 24%. You can actually remove the grid now. 
and I will just make strokes like this. Maybe we can make it a bit lighter. Ok. Now the background is ready. I want to make the bird pop up from the background by adding a shadow to it. Let's go ahead and duplicate the layer with a toucan. Then go to this one and make it pure black by lowering the brightness to none. After that I will apply motion blur, sliding diagonally at a low amount. Let it be around 20%. Then I will just move it so it goes to the side, matching it here on the tail. Now we can change the blending mode of the layer, let's say to soft light. And if you want to make it more intense, you can duplicate it. I will lower the opacity a little bit. And we can also do the same with the tree branch. So I am duplicating it, turning this one into black, and then applying motion blur. This time it can be 17%. Let's also move it to the side a little. I will stretch it this way and set the lace mode to soft light. In the end I'd like to make some final touches on the colors for the bird. So let me go here and I will be using curves. Here we can try to change gamma, so it will be applied to the entire bird. It will get more contrast. But also there is a way to change the colors one by one, red, green and blue. So we can work on the red color. And blue. Ok, now I like the colors. And at this point, the drawing is totally complete. Please make sure to tag me if you post your drawing on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.